a very odd design, isn't it? The 1978 Carl Gustav Sverige 1 Krona, issued by Sweden. It is composed of copper nickel and high uncirculated grades this coin generally holds a value around three to eight dollars. The 1973 Juliana Van Gulden issued by Netherlands. I'm not sure but I think it is still legal tender in that country. In high uncirculated grades it typically values between 8 to 15 dollars. This is 1969 one franc, minted by France. It's made of copper nickel. In high uncirculated grades, it usually has a value around five to ten dollars. The 1979 piece using Bianca dollar, issued by United States Mint. It is composed of copper and nickel. In high uncirculated grades, this coin typically values between $10 to $20. I must confess I can't read Arabic letters, so I won't be able to tell you the date and denomination and the issuing country of this coin. So if any one of you aware of these details, please leave a comment below describing the coin. Thanks. The 1970-20 Menge, issued by Mongolia. It's made of copper and nickel. In higher uncirculated grades, it generally holds a value of around $5 to $12. The 1992-20 Kapik from Azerbaijan, featuring a prominent design with a national emblem on obverse and the denomination on the reverse. This coin is valued around 10 to 20 dollars in high uncirculated grades. The 1997 Elizabeth II 50 pence coin from UK showcasing a depiction of seated Britannia on the reverse. Made of copper nickel, it generally values between five and fifteen dollars in higher uncirculated grades. This is 1957 five pesetas coin from Spain. I'm not sure again, but it is said that this coin is made 50% of silver and 50% copper. Nevertheless, it's relatively common. In, in circulated condition, it's worth less than $10, while high uncirculated examples can fetch between $15 to $30. This is 1996 Indian 1 rupee coin. It is composed of nickel brass. In circulated condition, it, it typically values around $1, while high uncirculated examples can reach $5 to $10. This is 2008 20 Rappen coin from Switzerland. Made of copper nickel, it's quite common. In circulated condition, it usually values around $1 to $2, while high uncirculated examples can reach $5 to $10. This one has a peculiar dark toning. I don't know whether it's just patination resulted from contact with humidity or byproduct of mint error known as improperly annealed coin. This is 1971 one shilling coin from Australia. It's composed of aluminium bronze. In circulated condition, it, it typically values around $1, while high uncirculated examples can reach $5 to $10. This is 1964-50 lira, lira coin from Italy. Made of nickel brass, it's relatively common. Uncirculated examples can fetch between five to fifteen dollars. This one displays some trace of luster, as you can see, so has not a bad eye appeal at all. This is attractively toned 1979 
new two pence coin from UK featuring crimson russet hue with a noticeable rim break or large nick on the reverse side. Made of bronze, it's relatively common in circulated condition. In higher uncirculated grades, it typically values around $5 to $10. With the unique toning and rim flow potentially increasing its appeal to collectors and possibly raising its value. This is 1979 2 franc coin from Switzerland. In higher uncirculated grades, examples can reach $5 to $10 in value. This is 1955 one Deutsche Mark from Germany. It's relatively common coin in circulated condition. It typically values around $5, while higher uncirculated examples can fetch between $20 to $40. This is 1960 one franc coin from France. It is composed of copper nickel. In circulated condition, it typically values around $2, while high uncirculated examples can reach $10 to $20. This is 2000 D Sakagavia dollar from United States. Made of manganese brass alloy is relatively common. In circulated condition, it generally values around $1 to $2, while high uncirculated examples typically have value between $15 and $30. This is 1982 one Deutschmark coin from Germany. Made of copper nickel, it's relatively common. In circulated condition, it typically values around $1 to $2, while high uncirculated examples can fetch between $5 to $10. This is 1957 25 pesetas coin from Spain. In circulated condition, it generally values around $5, while high uncirculated examples can reach $15 to $30. This is 1998 Elizabeth II 10 cent coin from Australia. Made of copper nickel, it is relatively common. For higher uncirculated examples can reach $5 to $10. This is 1999 nicely preserved and lustrous 1999 5 cents from Australia. It is composed of copper nickel. The obverse features portrait of Queen Elizabeth II was a reverse displays depiction of Echidna, an iconic Australian animal. Higher uncirculated examples can reach $5 to $10 in value. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to hit the like button before you jump onto another video. Leave a comment if you have any of these coins and describe on which platform you sell them for what amount.